that partner? <laughs> He's opposite. Very inside. Third is there. It's called planting, okay? You are supposed to grill each other, right?
isso aí, você. A primeira ação que eu tenho que ter aqui é levantar os meus pontos. Tá, ouvir a parte. Tá? É? Tudo. Você vai fazer com a gente. Pega na testa. Right leg behind. Legs. Get control of his legs. Children can do this with adults. Fortalece minha base. So first, establish your base. Vou segurar aqui ou da outra forma. So you hold forward or back. Eu vou jogar ele por cima de mim como se fosse um volante de carro. So he's gonna throw him as a steering wheel. Fazendo esse movimento aqui. So he'll do this this way. Okay. Like a steering wheel. And this, yeah. yeah. So it looks hard, yeah, but you try and see it's not that hard. So same position, you okay? One, two, three, go. Knee. So it looks bad, but it's not hard. Yeah. After the fifth, so let's go slowly and we'll do it. Okay, let's go.
if you are if you have a code, you can load your your partner's code. Okay. Yeah. If you can further, just open your code a little bit, just so it helps. Yeah. If you don't have no problem, just watch. Okay. Come closer. Come closer. So go over his arm and go inside. So you have two options. If the person has a belt, you hold their belt, or their pants, or their back. So put your right foot over, turn, and throw. So don't let go the arm, that's very important. Knee on his face. Come this way so you can see the, the way he's holding his arm. Yeah, just come here. Yeah, this is very important. See, the arm is over here, immobilized, and he's level two. So be very careful, yeah, because it's dangerous. So you're holding here and you put your, your trunk, your upper body backwards. Carefully, son. Yeah? Slowly. Very slowly. This will break someone's arm, okay? So be careful. Yeah? So again, look. Someone's holding you like this. Over, under, hold. Your other arm, hold his back or his belt or his pants. Put your foot forward. Remember, your line, your, your hips are on the same line. Okay? Throw. So, knee on face. Close your hands this way. Yes, slow. Let's do the ball. Let's do this side. Cross triangle, right? So foot 
two downward, two downward, and your upper body back upward. So you lie down slowly. That's it. Okay, when you feel the pain, tap. It's very important. So remember, your partner, the one that's doing the position, don't open it in the middle of the move, okay, of the position. And that, you know, it's, it's a real situation. When you are focused on that, you're not going to open, you're going to hold it. Now we're going to show it to someone else. Please. It's an example. So same situation. He's got his left foot on top of mine. Just cross your leg. Cross. Try to strangle him, please, sir. Real? Yes. <laughs> Try again. He has a real naked choke. He won't do it. He'll stop. Okay? Let's do it. Alright, so get apart and let's do it. So I'm going to press it in one go. 
so that it will be stronger than the pressure that he's exerting on me. And then he'll let it go. So my left knee will touch the mat, but keep your foot inside. In no moment I let his arm go. So now I have a free hand. I hug his, his head from behind. Can you see it? Yeah, can you see it? All right. So you hold his, so his shoulder. Or if not, place your shoulder on his face. So now I'll place my, my left thigh or whatever on the mat. Remember, keep pressure, otherwise you will stand. So then I let go my left knee and then I go forward. You see, you completely reverse. When I get to this position, can you see? Yeah, close the hand. Yeah. So I will deliver that hand to my other hand. Two options here. From the inside, I will strangle him. Or I will forward. I place my knee behind him, that, my leg, and then I reverse. Then I'm on his back. And I'll strangle him. Tap. So I'm going to do the first offer, right? It's long, so just follow. Slowly we'll practice. So close guard, get the hand, right? So now, which leg does he lift? Which one? Yes, exactly. The one that he's got the arm on. Huh? And now what do I do? Yes, place your hand on top of his knee, down, step, put your knee on the mat. Very important, remember, this foot's here, so that he cannot move his, his leg. Have his, his, his neck, side step, open, neck is like Then you advance on him. Remember, you're pulling him over. Deliver your hand. This is very important, okay? Yeah? This position here, if you cannot see from this way, yeah? This, this yeah, okay? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to place my elbow, my right elbow, on the, on the mat. Look. See? That's more. You try. He's going to tap before that, okay? Okay. <coughs> Don't worry, we'll do it step by step, yeah? We'll do it step by step. This is enough. If he goes down, you'll be enough. 
gonna strangle. Okay, he's gonna suffocate. Okay? So remember, tap. If you feel the suffocation, tap. So remember, this hole is a, a hand triangle, right? It's just it's a triangle. With your hands, with your arms. So when it goes backwards, my right arm goes up. Okay, you start. So again. So you have a closed guard, get his arm, cross your body, go. Triangle, done. Okay? That's it. Alright? This is very important. <laughs> <laughs> Use your hand to hold his, to put his knee down. 
There it goes. You see you open. Stand step as you did previously. Okay. So now you don't go behind his neck anymore. So, and I won't let go his hand. I'm going to cross my arm over his face, Sim, over his neck. Se eu tiver que mas eu que não so he might be defending or not, okay? Eu vou abraçar. And then you go under and over, okay? So, so just see the side, come this side, guys. Come here, lightly touch his face, okay? Já no rosto dele. So I, I do that. Open your leg. That's what you call it. Okay, so you open your leg like this. So now your body has a position on the mat. Let go his arm. Okay, so we call it north south. Okay. Keeping the pressure on his face. Look at what he, you see. He's feeling the pressure. He's there. He's not moving. Because now you see, I'm placing a triangle on his face. That's a fit. All right, leg under, open. So now hand to hand. And I press my ribs on his face. And he's gonna tap. It's a, that's why it's called an anaconda choke. Again. Let it go. Same repetition. Yeah, same, same. Now over his face and under. Yeah, very important. Oh, look. Alright. Right leg continues where it is. Yeah, so he tries to open, he can't because I go. Open, let it go. Use your leg, okay, under your own leg, and go, and then pressure. When he again stops struggling, I hold hand to hand, remember, under here, and that's it, give him that. Alright guys, let's do it. This is the last one. <coughs>
seconds.
Also bei der Sitzung. So, sind wir hier? Ja. Hier. Ja. Okay. Ja. Die Works? Uh, white, blue, 
and black. Open hole, brown and black. So, black hole more like a new one, 10 years. 10 years after, no. So, plus, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Four years. Four years. Four years, four years. So, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do that in a minute.
Ναι, το τέλος είναι την άπη. James, yeah, I'm going to be translating for Master Rodrigo, okay? So whatever he's saying in Portuguese, I'll be saying in English. We'd like to thank you all for being here. Uh, we expect you to do good work today. You see that it is a bit confusing, but as you go, you see it makes sense. Don't be embarrassed at all. We are here to teach and you are here to learn. Some uh, issues that we have to address before we start so that nobody gets any sort of injury. Don't wear a watch, yet. remove your watches, earrings, uh, rings, anything that might you know, get caught. Yeah. And uh, anything that you might have that, you know, any metal, the hair, holder, or something like that, you should remove, but you can hire someone else. Yeah. I know that's hard because I should have told you that before so that you wear some, a rubber band or something like that. But it's important, otherwise you might hit someone else. Yeah, because it's full contact. So you can stand one minute for you to keep, keep with a friend. Please ask a friend to keep your stuff. Yeah, earrings, uh, badges, anything that might get tangled, that might, you know. Uh, pose a danger to somebody. Yeah? Don't worry about you know, doing it perfectly. So, today we're going to learn 100%. But so that you have a good foundation that you will continue and want to do it. So, please rise. Try to partner with someone that's your same height, okay? So just look around, try to get someone of your same height, okay? Three groups, and then find yourself in three groups. Three groups okay? Let's go, alright? So we'll do like this. Partner, partner, partner. One, two, three, one, two, three, okay? So group one here, group two here, group three there, okay? Just 
just trying to come up with a situation, okay? Just watch. Can you see? You can come closer and then you go back to your room. No problem. Come closer. Watch. Watch. So we know that when this situation happens, someone's holding your, your ear or your hair, it's very hard to come free. Yeah? So it's holding very hard. So look at this. He's been attacked with his right hand, so he's going to use his right hand to counterattack. Go from on top, hold the wrist. Okay? My left hand will then lift his elbow. Look. Yeah, that's the movement. Okay? That's the movement. So the idea is that you're going to hurt his elbow and his wrist. Okay? So be very careful with the sequence. Okay? So that you don't hurt anybody. Watch. Look first. Raise the elbow. Look, look at the turn. Careful, careful. And press down. If your partner does not release your hair or ear, uh, you might break the aggressor's hand. Okay? So they will want to let go. Okay? So in a street situation, <coughs> remember, the best thing you can do is run. Right? So if you get through this situation, run. Okay? That's the best defense you have, right? So be very careful because often the man is stronger than whoever he's attacking. So he's going to be holding your hair or your ear very strongly. Oh, you might be attacked by another woman. You don't, you don't know. But that's the idea. You're going to, the more strength this person is using against you, worse for them. So remember, look at the position. So, yeah, you're trying to get free. Yeah, he's holding your... He doesn't have long hair. That's why he's saying, hold my ear. Okay? Yeah? No hair. No hair. So one, wrist. Two, elbow. Switch. Ground. Let go. Be careful. Okay, you can do slowly and carefully. Okay, we're going to help you do it. So let's practice. So, one does it, the other does it. Okay, we're just going to practice, right? Okay. So some folder can 
you see well? Do you see well? Yeah. Very important to see where their names are and where he is. So you see, this is something that a person that does not do martial arts will do. They close, they will lock their fingers. If he did it this way, it would be harder. But the result would be the same. Two options you have. So the easiest way is for you to go to the side that he's strengthening you. So the arm that goes across, right? In this case, the left arm. So you're going to attack to the left. Yeah. It seems like a, a useless way to do something, but it's simple, too simple, but it's, it's uh, you know, it works. So, but it is the way to start. Our train. Look, look, you step to the left, your arm then will go to his back, but even if he's forcing you try to face him, okay, go down. So you try to go on top this way. So here, you place your hands on his Nose. Because you try to go against the chin, usually people have a lot of strength on the chin, but you go against the nose. And you have just one chance. That's it, then you. Alright, so once again, think about the steps, okay? So he's there, step one. Go to your back, go to his back, tail. Both hands, nose, back to nose, and boom. Right? Let's do it.
see, now your aggressor is holding your arms down. Okay, you can come around to the seat. Yes? So, you see? So, I'm going to do everything to the left so that everybody can see. Go you know, one way at least. So, lift your shoulders, lift your arms, your elbows. Again, the step. Leg behind him. Look where his, his, his right foot is. Yeah. So you can hold the hands or behind the knees. Look from the outside, okay? From the outside.
situation in self-defense and jiu-jitsu. As in boxing, you have guard that holds your opponent and attack at the same time. So you can use it in a championship, in a free situation. So this is a common uh, training that we show in Brazil. So you think, you would think that the person that is caught is in an advantage this situation. But in Jiu Jitsu, this is a trend, and I will show you. <laughs> so we are making the same triangle, right, that we used previously. This pressure might you know, uh, make the person to faint. Or you can attack the person's arm and break their arm. So, you see, that's the situation where you think that this person is in advantage, but she's not. So, sometimes the person tries to cradle you. So, you either can hold their neck and their, their, their clothing or their wrists. So, we'll hold on the wrist because not all of you have uh, clothing. Usually, most people are right handed. So, I'm going to uh, take these arms directly to his neck, okay? so to the throat. It's not easy. You have to go at once, okay? It has to be a surprise. <laughs> so, you see, this is the arm that is completely out. So, now you open your guard. So you place your foot on his hip on the same side, okay? Same side that you're holding his hand. You hold on, point keep holding. This leg will go outside his arm. So you use this foot to raise your hip. You see, this hip is completely off the floor, okay? Off the mat. So you're going to hold the person like this. So these are the users for him now. Okay? You can let him go. So now you get his other arm, his other wrist. Hold your leg. Close the triangle. Two options now. You can, you know, place his arm to the left. I mean, to the right. You raise your hip. And pull the head. That is suffocation. Okay? Or you attack the arm and raise your hip and you break the arm. Okay? So it's just steps. Just watch. Yeah. So remember, he's attacking you, but now you know that this is a guard. This is for your advantage. Okay? This is good for you. Safety. Go. So first, hand to the neck. Remember, keeping his other arm straight. Open your guard, place your foot on the hip. Then you take your other arm, your other leg, and place it over the shoulder. Okay, because so you want to reach. Look, his, his hand now, his left hand is completely stuck. He cannot move it. Okay, you can let it go. Arm to the right. Hold so that you can get the grip. Close the triangle. He's suffocating. Yeah? If you do this, you suffocate. Yeah? Or attack the arm. Arm to the front, raise your hip. Alright? Would you like me to repeat one more time? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is quite an advanced position, but it's very, very effective. So, if you train every day for a week, you get it. You step next. So, this is normal for you to get some stuff, okay? So, again, remember hand to the throat. Open your guard. Place your foot on his hip. Lift. You're going to close the triangle, right? Now, the hand. Hold the hand. Go to the right. Hold. With your arm, close the triangle. He's suffocating. And then you place both your hands behind his neck and 
in. Or you let go, get his arm to break the arm. Alright? If you let go slowly, remember you have to get close. Yeah?
you go down and you go. Immediately you feel the pain. So this position might break, you know, the shoulder of your attacker. Okay? So again, you're at the bottom, hold the wrist, go up, place your legs, okay, so that you hold the person under, over your wrist. So look at the pressure, you see? Yeah, pressure, go down, hold it, close it. See, as you go down, you close your guard again. So your idea is that you take his wrist to the back of his neck. Yeah? Yes. Yes? Okay. So if it doesn't work, you do something else. Go the same, hold the wrist, go up, hold. It didn't work, you cannot go back, it's not letting you go. So you exchange. You hold with the same arm as you're holding, you hold his wrist. One, two, go back, three. It's enough, he's gonna tap. Didn't work. Release your hand, hold, lift, and go. Break his hand. So now, so you're going to do the one that you just did. Yeah? So once you are on top, look what you're gonna do. So look at the way he's holding his arm, okay? This is very important. Yeah? Look, you have to be on the same line as his chest, yeah? Place your right hand on his face, raise your left leg, switch, and go back, break the arm. Same, remember what you did, thumb up, okay? Thumbs up, remember the drink, thumbs up, okay? Always thumbs up. Again. Alright, so hold the wrist, open the guard, hold your own wrist, go back, tap, doesn't work, okay, exchange the grip, hold, remember, base and switch, get his arm, okay, look, hand, switch, remember, go slowly, okay guys, and tap this, yeah? Because this can hurt. Yeah?
uh, a very important work in the foundation of the year in our stadium. So the honor to be here and be able to give you some praise. We are going to post our photos on our profile on the internet. I ask you to see, we have many ladies in our city that are brown bound. And I, my expectation and hope is that you will continue and that you will grow as they have done. And I uh, honor to be here. And I thank our honored guests and also of our instructors, teachers. I do expect you next time. And please get in touch with your local masters for future events. And we count on you, please take part. So we are going to end the ceremony the usual way that we do in Jiu Jitsu. Okay? Right? So just follow the line, we greet each other, okay? A sign of respect. I want to thank all the community that came. Eh, espero que na próxima edição eles possam retornar. I hope that next time all of them will come with friends. Foi um trabalho muito bem feito ontem e hoje. We had a great time here yesterday and today. Eh, conseguimos passar noções de defesa pessoal. We were able to give to them some ideas of self-defense. Uma ideia de como o jiu-jitsu brasileiro. An idea of how a Brazilian jiu-jitsu is done. Posições avançadas. Some advanced positions as well. E hoje as meninas do colégio de pé, próximo. And today uh, the girls from the college puderam conhecer a arte e treinar a arte de defesa pessoal e de jiu-jitsu brasileiro. They were introduced to uh, self-defense and some ideas of uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Esse é um trabalho muito importante que nós realizamos na nossa cidade e agora aqui. And it's a very important uh, art and uh, that we are being doing in our city and now here in Giro. É o meu povo. É, Vai pelo mundo todo ensinando e hoje tivemos a oportunidade de ensinar nessa cidade da Índia. And as a people we've been all over the world teaching this art. Esperamos que possamos voltar aqui muitas e muitas vezes. We expect and hope that we can come back here many, many times. Thank you. Thank you. Vocês que amam a minha academia, vocês trazem aqui o professor. Você é o Master Rodrigo Bolozona. Eu sou o Black Belt 3 Degree, Brasil, o Tim Atos, o Tim Atos. 
o si gem sa atmot ra brazil ok ta ka o si lenta ka sa ka seminar me ka organize men bo bangalore ok art disease ek sa owner la trainer o mo nekta ka tum mml zero ko mo coach la trainer a o si sa ka bizze mun mo ka gine ni mata se si no no in yellow certain wa wa ko hoy ta do jese ki ipis hoy do abuse hoy do domestic violence hoy do rape hoy do heka 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 bostu pa mon so ni mata ni mon kat ni na tam ko heka situation amon defense ni ki na mol hala ka do ko heka tam ko tak tak ni na to me mon lu ko da se ka seminar ni mon sulo mon ka ko ho mo na ka aban tami azia tami ami ala ka ho sukso mon me se ka seminar me सक्सेस होई रुपा हेल्प मु बोले मु पायर को लिजे और सका आपकी आवाज में तरह से लोग टेलीकास्ट मु को पा वो योला से लोग को पायर पर आला लिजे थैंक यू